Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today we celebrate the 5th anniversary of Altenew. So there is a huge blog hop with lots and lots of sponsors and you have a chance to win many prizes. Make sure to visit my blog to find all about it, you will find the link down below. Today I'm going to share a card using this lovely stamp set by Altenew. This is from the latest release and it is called Book Club. All the sentiments that it includes are uh, for book lovers, but uh, the design with the circle at the center and the beautiful flowers is so versatile that you can use it for lots and lots of other occasions. So I'm going to do some stamping. I'm using black permanent ink by Altenew and I'm using my Misty here just to make sure that I am going to have a good impression. Now since I have all that uh, blank space at the center of the circle, you can see that I will end up having a smudge, but I didn't care at this stage because I am planning to use the die to cut out the circle. If you do care about the center of your design, make sure that you wipe off the excess before you go ahead and close the door of your Misty. By the way, I stamped uh, my image on uh, Nina Solar White cardstock and uh, that combined with the black ink that I used allowed me to use my alcohol markers with great results. So here I'm using the Artist Markers by Altenew and in a combo that has been released with set D of the Artist Markers. This is one of my favorite color combinations lately and I find that I grab those three markers all the time. So these are Rose Quartz, Puffy Heart and Purple Wine and again they are included in set D. You will find all the links that you need down below as always. All I'm doing here is to color each petal separately. I start with the darkest color at the base of the petal and then move on to the other two shades gradually ending up at the tip of the petal where I have the lightest of the colors. I make brush strokes from the base of the petal towards the tip and uh, I don't do any circular motions and lots of blending here. I just embrace that brush stroke technique into my flowers. Now this is a little bit consuming since I'm uh, coloring each petal separately, but it is simple to make. It is really rewarding so you can see the result is just gorgeous and it's really fun. Now here I think I made a mistake, I thought these were flower buds, but after all I believe they are leaves. But no one will ever notice, I'm just going to embrace that mistake and move on, starting with my green sage. Here I'm only using two shades of green, just because the leaves are so tiny, it's a small area and you don't really need to add a lot of colors to have a nice blending. The two colors that I'm using here are parrot and olive. There is a matching die set available for this stamp set. I'm going to use both those dies from the set and I'm going to secure them on top of my colored image with some purple tape. I run it through my die cutting machine and here is the result, a lovely centerpiece for your card where you can add any sentiment on the inside. Now you can turn this into a beautiful full shaker card if you like or just a window card where you can see the inside of the card. So many different ways to use this. Now I haven't been using my white washi tapes for a while now so it was time to give them some love. So I found this one, again it's by Altenew and I think that the colors match perfectly with the colors of the flowers. So I'm going to cover up completely a 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half panel to create my background, quick and easy. I have some excess uh, washi tape hanging out of the edges. You can wrap it around the edges if you like or just use your scissors to end up with neat and clean edges. And now it's finally time to put my card together. I'm going to use some foam squares at the back just to have some dimension. I'm going to stick that on top of my panel. And then for the sentiment I'm going to use that cutout circle but of course at the back so that I avoid that smudge that I had. And I'm going to stamp a sentiment from another beautiful stamp set. This is the beautiful Peony stamp set, again from the latest release by Altenew. And it has a lovely sentiment that says stay beautiful, which I'm going to stamp with black ink. And I'm going to pop that inside that circle, making sure that it's going to lay flat. So I do have uh, different layers there. I'm using... Uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back, which is going to make a nice bond between that washi tape and the paper. 
I'm going to finish off my card by sticking down some uh, sparkling crystals. These are going to look like dewdrops on my finished card. So that is the panel all finished. All I have to do is to just stick it on top of a um, card base. And uh, here are some close-up photos on the card. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget that you will find down below all the links on everything I used today. And also don't forget that this is part of a blog hop with tons of giveaways and lots of inspiration. Make sure to visit my blog and find all about it.